just like to give you a scope of the other side of the base, kind of bring you around at an angle. Look at the ruralness of it. Vast. And as you can see, most of it is underground. This is just surface. Thought it'd be interesting to uh, talk in front of a particle beam array. Just kind of interesting to look at. It looks like it actually rotates in the surface here. Goes around. Might emit a beam which would destroy possibly any incoming missiles, but. I think this one's been inactive and it's more just for show or possible reactivation. Has some solar collector possibilities as well. But again, it's old technology compared to what we have now. And continuing my discussion on war is mankind's purpose. It's his ongoing destiny. Actually, war gives him purpose, gives us purpose as satanic singularists, black magic magicians. The aliens that I have remote viewed in the universe are not altruistic. They're very similar to us. Possibly greater in technology, but not really too interested in us more than just observation. We haven't reached beyond our type one civilization in order to get their attention in real time. However, governments are possibly in contact with some kind of alien intelligence on a minimal level at this point. It's interesting to realize that Mankind might be behind the eight ball on this as the universe is indifferent to pain and prayers. It's a very evil place. Very reflective of what we are as a humanity. Satanic evil species. Philosophers that I have debated on the topic often look and say, well, there is potential and so on, and we have altruism, and we can be good to each other, and, and we can, within the confines of law. If law didn't exist, we would just be very ruthless, conniving hordes of marauders. Particle beam behind me, collector. Garners a great laser that could very much so cause destruction. The United States Navy now has lasers on some of their ships, which can really have a wide range of destroying targets as they approach. And this, again, is taking what would be in a scientific altruism and weaponizing has always been something in science fiction. Science fiction made fact because it is real. Going forward into the future for Satanism is a new frontier for our species. However, most of the populace is caught up in the Jesus racket, in the bastardization, horridness of Islam, the pettiness of politics and generation snowflake. Entitled people that have no charms. They have nothing behind them. They have no power. They just feel entitled because they exist. And the Satanist laughs at this. He laughs at society as it declines and slides into the precipice. The great thinkers Nietzsche spoke about the last man, Machiavelli, 
had very much a revile towards humanity. Francis Bacon in tune as well, very much misanthrope. But to be misanthropic is on a one point, okay, we don't get along or we're not so on and so on. But it doesn't mean you have to lack social skills, be caught up in your ego and think that you're the special creature because you, you are not. And many people, even Satanists, are very annoying or practitioners. And I use the word Satan in reverence, not just the Hollywood spectrum concept of it. Lucifer is the light, exists, and is the universe, the dark matter. And we are one with him, those that are initiated. Those that are not have a concept which is very limited or based on what they've taught or not seeing the evolution of the modernization as the thinking moves forward, as any philosophical searching moves forward, you are learning, you are advancing. You don't want to be stuck. You don't want to be not able to look beyond yourself. You'll end up like Hitler in the bunker, putting a bullet in your head. You're not moving forward. You have to let go. You have to look at all aspects. You have to incorporate these into your reality. And this is what will garner real power for the magician. Because those that are stuck, they, they limited themselves. They've already caught themselves off guard. They're not taking anything seriously. They're caught up in their atheism. They're caught up in bashing books that are useless, that are mundane, that offer nothing. They're caught up in nothingness. Self-worship to a point is good. It, ga it gains respectability. It gains confidence, possibly. Does it lack social skills? Absolutely. A lot of Satanists nowadays need to begin to open themselves up to the great mission of what Lucifer can bring. The intellect, the power, and the strength, and the glory to achieve super consciousness. To thyself be true. And those divided within themselves are left to oblivion.